Hello everyone, this is Mackie. So in this week of weekly news, I promised to make a video about the 3.0 Shadow Report. And I promise it's coming, but I don't know when. But first I want to cover something else. Last night I jumped onto Twitch to watch a few Star Citizen streams. I found this Norwegian guy that was trying out the free fly and began talking to him and then I joined him in game. As we played, we began discussing the state of the game and that they were actually looking for how they could land on planets, a function that is coming with 3.0. For me, this turned on a red light. For those of us who follow Star Citizen development, we know that under 2016, 3.0 received an aim date for December, a date that was later moved forward and is now set for June this year, 2017. However, it became obvious that for players who are not yet quite into the project, it can become confusing when trying to get information on the game. You're googling, they're watching videos on YouTube, only to try and get a picture of what the game is about. And well, here it's important that we, the content creators, are clear with the information we share and well, otherwise they may be represented with the wrong picture of the current state of the game. So with that said, I felt like I want to make this video to present where the game is currently at and what there is to do in game right now. So at the time of this video, the 16th of April 2017, we have reached 2.6.3, where we are represented with several different game modes. So let's break it down. Here we are represented with three options, the universe, star marine and arena commander. For this video we are going to start from the top and go down. Under the universe tab we'll find three different options. First we've got crusader, the main area for the persistent universe. Here you will wake up on port Olisar as a lawful citizen with the option to call your ship to a nearby landing pad and interact with other players. In this game mode you will be able to do some basic PV missions from the ICC probe, repair relays or go on a detective hunt on an abandoned space station. Or if you like you can go PvP on space station Korea. You also got an option to become a pirate through an early iteration of a reputation system. Basically if you do something bad, aka shoot someone, you will become a criminal and will now have access to grim hacks. This is the criminal's home in yellow asteroid belt. Criminals can do the same thing as a lawful player with the exception of turning off relays instead of repairing them and just go kill people. I guess. And doing some of these things will earn you Alpha UEC, which then can be used to buy items in game or repair and rearm your ship at one of the repair stations. Second on the list we got Area 18, a social ground map where you can view some of the future of Star Citizen. Some stores are open for you to browse while others are still closed. And with closed I mean that you can't buy it or interact with them but you can go inside and look around. For right now, there is only two stores that you can interact with. First off, we have Cubby Blast, where you can browse and buy all weapons that's currently in game, together with some of the spacesuits and armors. Secondly, we have Kasaba Outlet. This is where you can buy basic clothing. Uh, that means pretty much anything from shoes to a new shiny hat. And third, we got of course the hangers. There is uh, four different variants of those that you can choose between and once inside you will be able to spawn your ship and you can pretty much just walk around, look at your ship, replace its weapons or just strip it down to the bone. Basically this is a place where you can just enjoy your ship in peace. And now we have Star Marine and this is the arcade mode where you can play FPS as either an outlaw or as a marine. At this time there is only two game modes. The first one is called Lost Stand where you and your team will fight our capture points. Then we have Elimination which is basically free for all. These modes can be played on two different maps, where the first one is OP Station Damien and the second one is Echo 11. Connected to this game mode is also a loadout screen, where you can select what setup you want your character to have in combat to fit your gameplay style as good as possible. And last but not least we have Arena Commander. Arena Commander is the oldest module in the game so far and this is the arcade mode for space battles. Here you can take your ship and fly out in different modes. It can either be done with a private group in single player mode or in a multiplayer with strangers. Here you will find six different modes ranging from Vandal and Pirate Swarm which is PvE modes and then you have some PvP modes and some space racing. 
you're into that. Similar to Star Marine, there is also a loadout screen for this game mode, where you can set up your ship and its weapon to match the needs you have for your ship. And well, that's it. That's what you can do right now in 2.63. I hope this video will clear up any confusion for future or current pilots in the verse. This is Mackie, signing off. I'll see you soon. <laughs>